Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for... What is it, the third? Yeah, right around the third. The timing is fluid. Let's just see what comes up. This is a daily energy. What do we got for daily energy? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. Did I just say that? <laughs> If I did, well, oh well. What do we got? Ooh, the sun card. So this is happiness. Extremely happy. So it's a happy day. We got happiness. Something is bright, shining really bright. This could be a birth, a rebirth. This is this is a this is a bright. This is bright. Very bright. exciting warmth this is a, this is this is happiness somebody is going to be very very happy with what they see by the looks of things this could also be heat warmth growth ooh Eight of Cups. Now this is this is leaving something emotionally unfulfilling behind and heading towards abundance. It's like I'm ready to face the challenge. So somebody is ready to face the challenge ahead of them to let go of the disappointing situation where they have been staying. It's like I understand there's going to be challenges, but I'm sure the grass is greener over there. So, but this is, let's see, this part, somebody's leaving something behind in search for happiness, more happiness, extreme happiness. Searching for love. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for big love. Big, 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 big love. Something more emotional, something more emotionally fulfilling. That's that ninth cup. That has got. The, it's like somebody is headed towards love, probably unconditional love, with somebody that is more care. I'm looking for something a little bit or a lot more emotionally uh, fulfilling. Now this is the death of an idea or person. So this is this is this is prayers being answered as well. There, but you're gonna get the three of swords. So it's like there's been some sort of pain and suffering, but it's coming to a, to an end. Somebody has. It's like they've received the clarity or the the message, you know, because that is the sword of clarity right there. Somebody has received the message through pain and suffering that it's time to go. So there could be some some pain, some because you think about the three of swords up there. That's heartache, heart pain. But it's like I see I see the truth. I have the truth. I know the truth. It's like I received the answer. I gotta go. So it's somebody is headed towards something more emotionally fulfilling after being in a dead end situation where they were alone and isolated. It's like this is a rebirth or the birth of something new. There could be some sort of celebration that is coming up. There could be an upcoming celebration. Could be even a celebration of life. Okay, just saying. Um, because it could be seeing the light. I'm not sure if there's somebody that's going to... And I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody could pass away. I have to be honest. So there could be an upcoming celebration of life. There could be an upcoming party, or there could this could be even an anniversary party, or a new commitment, or a marriage, or something like that. Somebody could be going to some sort of celebration in the near future. This could I ha I just I'm sorry. What I just saw was somebody surrounded by family. I mean, I have to, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Somebody could be surrounded by their family. 
some people won't be but I, I mean that's really just sound I know that's grim but whatever it is what it is so this is like somebody on there <sighs> please anyway let's let's go a different route um this is this is a this is this is somebody that is feeling like they want more love and they're it's like they're headed towards something more emotionally fulfilling that will make them a lot there's extreme happiness here like an overwhelming amount of happiness so the next day or two there's going to be a lot of happiness but with the knight of pentacles reverse this is something coming to a halt coming to a stop No movement, not going somewhere. There could be a delay. Then maybe there's been a delay in happiness. There's options, there's choices. Somebody is this is a card of consequences. Somebody may be suffering some consequences for not making the right choices. They could be delayed this extreme happiness. Just saying. Some, there, somebody is not getting the happiness that they are wishing for. And this, this, this eight, eight plus one cup is nine of cups. Like they're wishing for happiness. They're praying for happiness. But there's a delay because there's some sort of consequences for not acting with integrity, not being practical, not being responsible, not being realistic. So there is a delay. Of, this is a delay. Okay, so somebody is getting a delay because they made the wrong choice. There's consequences for that. This is saying goodbye to a... Somebody could be sick. I'm telling you what. I mean, this is sickness. This is health. So somebody could be getting proposed to because in sickness and health, and how there could be some marriage vows or writing marriage vows or something like that. Just saying. Or this, there, 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 there could be the end. It could be the end of a situation where somebody says goodbye. They see the light, and well, you know what that means. So I'm just, I can't be honest with you. This is, this is confused. There could be an element of confusion here. Well, Ten of Swords, that is the end. It's the end. So we got the end of a of a situation. Something is coming to a complete halt. Somebody has to make a choice. Because this is a choice. Choices affect the outcome. Choices affect people's happiness. So, hmm. Somebody's going to be confused because this is a card of confusion. Queen of Wands is like they get this vision. Somebody gets this vision and it's like they try to, try to, it's like they get this uh, desire. It's like they get this desire to take action. There's an opportunity to take a leap of some sort but there's a feeling of indecision this person the queen of wands is very exuberant and it could be male or female in this case but this is somebody that is very attractive very exuberant very um, proud and determined very confident so we have this very confident individual that is maybe suffering some sort of this is a kind of consequences this person has a choice somebody has a choice and this is male or female it could be a fire sign but it doesn't have to be Aries Leo Sagittarius I think we have somebody that has a choice as to whether they want to end something or not this is a choice there's consequences here now this is stopping. It's delay somebody somebody's indecision is delaying their own happiness. 
So you need to make a choice here. You need to make a decision. Do you want to keep going backwards or do you want happiness? So it feels like there's an opportunity for happiness here, but this person is confused. There's a lot of pride here. Defensiveness. There's a, a need to defend or, or to pr prove something. So we have somebody here that wants to prove something. But it's over anyway. The Ten of Swords, that's, a, that's the end. It's over. It's done. There's no moving forward. There's an opportunity for love here big love. It's like there's a higher power that is offering somebody an opportunity for love. But we got somebody here that is so confused because they they have a big ego. They have a lot of pride. The Queen of Wands has a has a lot of pride. Could be dealing with a Leo. This person and lions represent pride. So we do have somebody that has a lot of pride, big ego. And there's a need to act with grace. There's a need to act with tact. Tact. Now, the strength card is about letting go. Finding the strength to let go. And you can look it up. So, we, we, we have to find... Somebody is trying to find their strength to let go of something that is killing them. But their pride and ego is in the way and they're trying to prove themselves. So, I think we have somebody here that is about ready to open up or they're about ready to let go of something a false contract woohoo so that's a false contract there's no compatibility and they're very indecisive all it does is bring conflict it's not meant to be so somebody is holding on to a false contract that is not meant to be if it was upright then it would be different but it's not so this is this is a false contract. It's not meant it's not meant to be. And we got somebody here that is letting pride get in the way of them releasing it. Um but this contract is coming to an end. It is because of this 10. It's coming to an end. It's at it's already reached the end. There's no more movement, okay? It's over. The contract is already over. It's done. The decision has been made. So this person is just wasting their time. They're just wasting their time. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for big love. But this person's pride and ego is getting in the way. So, you know, this is the end of a painful, stressful situation. If this person can find the strength to let go. So I think we do have a very beautiful person here that has an opportunity for big love. But it's like they're reluctant to take it because their pride is so big. Which is crazy, I know. So that's for somebody. I don't know who. For everybody watching this, there's an opportunity for happiness because that is the first card. But it's, it's it's there's a need to reflect on the circumstances and walk away from something so that you can get the big love so you can get the wish fulfillment so that you can get the abundance so that you can celebrate and have a happy life so there's an opportunity for happiness here but you gotta walk away from something first because that is the meaning of this card yes it's going to be a challenge to leave something behind that perhaps you once loved but there's something that over there that is waiting for you to see it and it's in it's bigger than you imagined it's big it's bright there's a big bright opportunity here so anyway um this is the death of an idea or person something is ending and somebody is saying goodbye to a situation that once you know it started out as the ace of cups and the two of cups and the three of cups it started out as love the ace of cups it brought them into a union then there might have been a third party situation which made them really discontent then there was grieving after a loss then there was a lot of memories that were on the table then there was the confusion and now it's time to walk away 
So it's, you know, somebody fell in love with somebody, they got into a partnership. Then there was a third party situation where somebody cheated or something like that, which made, I'm just repeating myself because I always do, then which made a person feel discontent and sad and not realize, you know, they didn't want to, they didn't want to accept that this wasn't going to work anymore. Then we have the five of cups, which is the split. We're just working up the cups, okay? We have the split where somebody is grieving and sad and crying and moping about the loss that they just experienced. Then they got the memories and they can't let go of the memories, you know, because there's memories with that person. Then we go to the seven of cups, which is over here, which is the confusion. I got a better opportunity, but I can't take it because, you know, there's pride in the way. The last step is let it swallowing your pride and giving up. So then we have the eight of cups. It's time to go. You've got a big opportunity for love. Go! Go! So anyway, that's what we got here. This is some, this is, this is, uh, right now we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom. This is something happening very, very fast. This is, this is a shocking, uh, revelation or a shocking reveal or a shocking change. This is a shock. Okay. So this is something changing directions very fast or somebody moving very fast. Um, somebody may receive some sort of information out of the blue. Something is going to happen very, very suddenly out of the blue. You may sense it. You may sense that this is what this is. You may already know what is going to happen. Um, somebody uh, may have been keeping something to themselves and a secret is about to be revealed by somebody. Things are going to change in an instant. Be prepared. Good luck.